Hello guys, I'm back on the North Downs here, just having a small uh, morning out before I have to go to work. I'm back in with another ration, I've got a Canadian IMP, uh, three of these would be issued to a soldier in any one day, they are an individual meal. Uh, this one is chicken pesto pasta, which is menu 10, so we're going to get it out, have a little taste and see what it's like. Okay, so here it is, roughly the same size as a USMRE, uh, smaller than I expected actually in the packaging, it's got this silver back kind of uh, brown paper bag, like a little lunch bag, and I'm assuming you can just pull it apart at the top here. Yeah. just going to tear into this. Have quite neat in there. Cardboard boxes on both sides. So let's have a little look. We have our main chicken pesto, a mango peach apple sauce, coffee crisp. Looks nice. Hamburger bun. There's actually quite a lot in here. Got our beverage bag, got a famous beverage bag because it's got the gusset on the bottom to stand upright. We've got a raspberry drink, a strawberry jam, peanut butter, which was a little separated in there. We've got some ice breakers. Whitener for the tea or coffee. Some beef jerky. A mint hot chocolate. Another raspberry drink. Espresso roast coffee. Sugar one. I think that's a moist talent, wet white. Nice. Got some Frank's red hot hot sauce. Look at the uh, small book of matches there. Some napkins or toilet paper, whatever you want to use it for. And lastly, our spoon. I've seen one of these before and I thought they'd come with a brown spoon similar to a US on MRE, but uh, oh, that's what I've got anyway. And that is everything. These ration packs don't come with a flameless ration heater, but I believe that they now do issue them separately, they're just not in the pack itself. So I've brought along with me a uh, Beyond the Beaten Track flameless ration heater, it's a British one, um, so we're going to use that. This up here, a few bucks around here. So that looks like just a bit of text along the bottom there. Open up our FRH. Water line. Let's see if we can fit that back in here. Well, it does its thing. So that's, that's going off good now. Properly activated. While the FRH is doing its thing, I'm just going to boil up some water with the pocket rocket here. And that's going to be for our coffee. So that shouldn't take a minute. 
Okay, I've prepared our drinks here, and here we're going to have our mint hot chocolate. I'm just going to dump that in now. Ooh, that just smells quite nice. I'm not the biggest mint fan, but that's quite nice. And in here, as you'll probably know from past videos, not really a coffee man, but I'll make it anyway. Yep, smells like coffee. And that will put our whitener and our one sugar. I'd probably have two, but hey ho, there we go. going overhead. So just give these a mix. Okay, so you could mix these two and make a, a mochaccino thing if you wanted to. Uh, that whitener's not actually that strong. Maybe I didn't put it all in there, but it's not very strong. And so I've made this quite strong, so I might mix them together afterwards. I don't know. Let's see how I feel. And this is our raspberry stalk drink. Oh, should have opened that first. And seeing as I'm out of cups, we'll use the beverage bag. It's pretty crystallised in there. It's not an old ration pack or anything, so it should be fine. Quite dusty. And we'll need some cold water for that. There's our fuel line. Tiny bit more. Yeah. And we can seal this up. And hopefully no accidents. Mix it up. crystallised on the bottom there, but that seems to be mixing in there. Yeah, so there we have it, I'll leave them sit for a minute while we get the rest of the food out. I must say there is actually a fair amount of food in here. Right in the burger bun first. Just couldn't pack it in there. Quite dry feeling. Comes in two halves quite easily. Ooh. Smells quite flavourful. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll get out our beef jerky. Love a bit of jerky. Oh, because that's quite a hard one to get into. I'll try this straight away. There we go. Got big chunks. Okay, I'm going to be quite honest. Beef jerky is pretty awful. It's quite smoky. Beyond that, it's dry, very chewy. Not very good at all. Oh, and I love jerky. So that's a bit disappointing. It's a bit of a mix. We've got it a bit more consistent. Quite loose. And our strawberry jam. bit more mixing. Okay. And let's have a look at our mango peach apple sauce. 
probably could heat this one up in your SRH along with the main. It's a very loose feeling. I haven't got any mess tins with me today. My day pack was uh, pretty full. Oh, we squirted. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the corner over here somehow. Get out our coffee crisp. Pretty healthy size bar, pretty light, I'm assuming it's like crisp rice in there. And if we move this aside, we can get our main. Okay, so it's been nearly 10 minutes or so. Feels pretty hot. There we go. Remember these don't come with these FRHs, but apparently they are provided with them. So if you are in the Canadian forces, comment below. Let us know if that is true. See, that's pretty hot. Pig zero that. going. First off I'm going to try this raspberry drink because I've been walking today and I'm first day. I don't know how easy these are to drink out of. Yeah, it's nice, raspberry drink. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, handy to be resealed. I'm going to keep hold of this bag. So I'm going to try our coffee. It's uh, quite a strong coffee, I'd say. Quite bitter, although I'd probably think that about most coffees, and there was only one sugar. That uh, whitener doesn't seem to have fully mixed in though, I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's a little bit speckly there, I don't know if it's gone bad or anything. But yeah, it's coffee, and I don't really like coffee. <laughs> and let's have a quick look at our hot chocolate. This is with mint. Yeah, that's perfectly drinkable, that's lovely. It's nice, I prefer the orange chocolate one in the uh, British ration back, but this will certainly do while you're out and about. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so I've had some of that, that's pretty dry and horrible. Let's try our peanut butter. It's quite loose. Peanut butter's fine. I'm not big on peanut butter, but it's fine. Bread is quite dry, but what do you expect really? Yeah, it's not bad. Just try our jam. Yep, jam. It's nice. Nothing to complain about there. Helps with the bread as well. A bit more moist than the peanut butter. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to do it. I don't really do this in Britain, but got quite a lot of American viewers. So let's do it. Yeah, that's a strange thing to put in a sandwich. <laughs> let's have a quick look at our coffee crisp. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not like crisp rice. It's wafers. Yeah, it's kind of like a big Kit Kat. I um, can barely taste the coffee, to be honest. That's quite nice, I like that. A lot of small planes going over today and they take ages to get over because they're so slow. Okay, so this is our chicken pesto pasta. Something I do like. So let's get a little bit of everything there. And so there's some peppers in there as well. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with that. That's nice. Hmm. Big chunks of chicken in there, as you can see. Plenty of pasta. Taste that pesto. It's 
it's quite sweet. It's definitely sugars in there as well. It is quite sweet. I mean, that's just coming off the peppers. Oh, it's very nice. It's not overpowering with pesto, even though it does look quite strong. That's good. I wish I saved some of my bun to put it in, but that's fine. Yeah, that's nice. Definitely a winner there. And I should try this. What was it again? Mango peach apple sauce. Yeah, just like a baby food really. <laughs> Good to suck straight out of the pack. So before we finish, we'll just have a quick look at these matches. Test one out. It works. Look at the uh, wet nap. Yep, very refreshing and lemony. And a quick look at the gum. If I can get into it. Two pieces. Oh, I think it's actually like a hard mint, not gum. So this has been menu 10 with the Canadian individual meal. It's a thumbs up from me. Very nice indeed. Definitely be getting some more of these to try out. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I've got some other MRE reviews if you're interested, plus camping and other prepping survival based videos. So uh, some of them should be on the screen now. Check them out and I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Goodbye.